Now, this is a um, differentiation of trigonometric function. This is another part of differentiation. Now, in differentiation of trig, according to the jam syllabus, jam say we should study sine, cos, tan, e, and um, cosec. So, we we'll have it on the table. So, you need to study the table, just know it often. That is, if y is there and the y over the s. So, meaning if y is sine s, the y the s is cos s. So, that is, if in jam, they just say if y is cos sine s, find the y the s. The y the s will be cos s. You need to know the table often. Now, if y is cos s, the y the s is minus sine s please take note if y is tan s the y the s is sec square s if y is cosec s the y the s is minus cosec s cos s if y is e raised to power s the y the s is e raised to power s now take note of when well, there's another one if y is lean s uh, let me put it this way like if y is log base e log s base e or lean s the y the s is one over x so please take note of the table not the table so let us test ourselves on how to solve so all these ones are what you just know you need to know it often the table if y is sine s the y the s is cos s if y is cos s the y the s is sine s now let's see how we are going to use everything in solving now remember i'm using short method for everything now let's start example on this now if y if y is equals to sine let me say sine 4x what is the y the s now question is if y is sine 4s what is the y the s now to do sine 4s first thing you are going to do differentiate everything you have in front of the sign like you have 4s now differentiate it will get 4 so that is the first thing you will do anything from no matter how long differentiate it first so in this case i'm doing 4x now differentiate 4s you get 4 so that is normal now differentiate sign we are check the table if we differentiate sign we are going to get cos so again differentiate 4s you get 4 now differentiate sign on the, according to the table, we are going to get cos. You will now rewrite this one complete, as in rewrite it complete. As in this 4s, just rewrite it Yeah. So let's take it one more time. The first step is what? Differentiate anything you have Yeah. That will give you 4. The next thing, differentiate sign. You are going to get cos then rewrite that for s in front so that is the answer done you see now just one line we are done so now everything is short short method just make sure you understand the procedure now another example now if y is equals to sine 2s square plus 4x minus 2. Find the y the s. Now, as usual, the y over the s. So the first thing is what well, differentiate everything in front of sign. So yeah, this will give us open bracket. That'll be 4s because if I differentiate 2s square, I'll get 4s plus 4. So open bracket oh sorry differentiate everything you have in the bracket first what do you get we get 4s plus 4 abby now differentiate sign you will get cos 
then rewrite everything complete that will be 2x squared plus 4x minus 2 answer so we are done I hope you understand so let's still solve more the more you solve the better you understand so let's solve more now if y equals cos 7s plus 1 what is the y the s now to do it the same way the same thing i'm doing for sine is the same thing i will do for this for sine as in sine cos tan cosec is the same thing i'm doing for the four the same method now look for the cos now you see that it's still the same the y over the s will be equals to now differentiate seven s and differentiate seven s plus one you know l always differentiate what you have here first now differentiate seven s plus one will get seven so like that so differentiate it to get seven differentiate cos check the table cos will give me minus sign so now differentiate cos we are going to get put the minus first please take note to write the minus let the minus first or the number write it first so that means minus sign instead of writing minus sign so i'm writing the minus first that is minus sign now rewrite 7s plus 1 so answer always rewrite this that is the answer now let's move on another one so if y if y equals to cos 4s cube minus 2s square plus 5 find the y the s now the same way differentiate everything you have yeah so that will give me that will give me um 12 s square as in we differentiate for s cube 12 s square minus 4 x then plus zero constant so now i've differentiated everything here after i differentiate differentiate cos check the table cos is minus sign so i'll write minus first then sign please always write minus first then sign now rewrite everything complete that is 4 s raised to power 3 minus 2 s square plus 5 so that is the answer we have already differentiated please hope you are getting it you the same thing will happen to tan now let's do tan so the same thing will happen to tan so if y equals to tan 7x what is the y the s so now first differentiate 7s you get 7 differentiate tan check the table tan is sec square that will be sec square then rewrite the 7s answer like that please hope you are understanding it good so now we can also combine everything like i have more than one but you still need to do it one by one now if y is equals to sine 7s plus cos 2s minus 3s square what is the y over the s yeah the y the s will be now differentiate sine 7s first what is the first thing differentiate 7s abby you get 7 differentiate sine you get cos then rewrite 7s that is the down one then plus now differentiate 2s yeah you get 2 differentiate cos you get minus sign always write minus first then rewrite 2s then the last one will give us 6s remember we differentiate 3s square you get 6s so that means we are true that is the answer the only thing i'll just do is that plus times minus is minus so that I will get 7 cos 7s minus 2 sine 2s minus 6s. 
as in plus times minus will give me minus so that is the only thing i had so like that please hope you understand now look at this one in jam they don't usually put number there just know it's like that if y is cosec s the y the s is minus cosec s cuts s now i will still introduce us to the other which is e and lin but for now let us understand sine cos tan and cosec so now let's see more example the more you solve the better you understand now if y is equal to sine 8s plus 2 what is the y the s the y over the s first thing you differentiate 8s plus 2 now differentiate 8s plus 2 you get 8 now differentiate sine you will get cos then you rewrite 8s plus 2 answer so by now i think you have understand the concepts differentiate anything you have in front first differentiate this one and you rewrite everything so let's do one more example now if y equals cos 2s cubed plus 5 now let me even put number at the back maybe i have y equals 4 cos as in let's say number now if number is there it doesn't have any effect just rewrite just leave the 4 like that as in this 4 leave it like that our business is this what we have here that 4 just say times as in that is if we have number first now times we are differentiate what we have here now just do it normal that will be 6s square as in if i differentiate everything so differentiate cos you now get minus remember i say always write minus let it first everything so if you differentiate cos you get minus sign then rewrite everything 2s raised to power 3 plus 5 answer so we can just say 4 times 6 that will be minus 24 s square sine 2s cubed plus 5 fine answer so i hope you are getting it so just feed me back please if you understand better so again if y is equal to 7 sine 2 s square plus 4 s minus 1 now the y over the s now even though number is at the back i said don't mind just say 7 times then yeah differentiate just continue that will give me open bracket because it's long so that will be 4 s plus 4 as in we differentiate this 4 s plus 4 now differentiate sign you get cos if you differentiate sign you get cos then you rewrite everything that will be 2 s square plus 4 s minus 1 so you can just say this is 7 bracket I mean that 7 can open bracket, it depends on your option. 7 times 4, that will be 28s. 7 times 4 again plus 28. Then cos. Cos. 2s square. Plus 4s minus 1. Answer. I hope you understand better.